Welcome, 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 what's up, and welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch review, and it is Eagle Moss Day, a very unexpected Eagle Moss Day. We are doing, uh, again, a new arrival, so of course we have our unboxing coupled with the actual review, as is the case with all these Eagle Moss, and uh, let's just get right into it. You already know how this works. You know what it is because it's in the description. I know what it is because I ordered it, and while I don't recall if I received an email saying it was going to come today, uh, here it is, and uh, I'm more than happy to see it so of course i picked this up from master replicas it was on their drop oh about a week or so ago and they were actually really quick about shipping they say 10 to 14 days of this thing when they it shipped out within a week and it got here just as fast so uh really superb job by master replicas if anybody from master replicas is watching uh it, they do a great job and i say this because uh, you know not to not to kiss ass but uh if you've read about what some people have posted on, it, 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 people are pretty terrible to this company and these guys are just they're they're trying to clear out Eagle Moss inventory, inventory so uh, d definitely uh, good on these guys. They've been uh, aces, uh, them and uh, realmerch.com. They've both been aces about this. So let's get right down to it. Now, of course, can't show the other side because it's got my personal information. And while we're all fellow Trekkies here, I just can't go through. Oh, oh we got new sound <laughs> got my box cutter uh yeah i just i just don't feel we're at that level of our relationship but let's cut the sides real quick cut the crap there we go and of course real merch packaging this uh just as nicely as they always do good on them for doing that and uh here it is oh man you already know what it is you're all uh, and yes Yes, and there it is, the Nebula Class XL USS Bonchoon, and uh, we'll focus the camera on that. And, uh, real quick, uh, yes, I, I did talk about getting the XL Deep Space Nine, but I I've kind of, now that all these XLs are coming out and they're a bit harder to find these days, um, I saw this in stock, and I I'm never on when any of these drop, so I grabbed this as soon as possible. And so let's take a quick look at the box. So, of course, we got USS Bonchoon. Bonchoon, MCC 70915. I believe Bonchoon is one of the designers or whatnot. I don't know for sure, but either way, we'll talk about it in a bit. Nebula class, and of course, we got a nice product shot. That's how Eagle Moss rolls. They always have the Nebula class. And then, of course, we have our new additions on the side. We got Voyager, DS9, Discovery, uh, Next Gen, uh, Enterprise, and Picard. I believe this was before uh, Lower Decks went on. Star Trek, Hero Collector, and then Bonchoon class, a nice side shot a oh, really good looking um nebula class and of course star trek on the side and then of course we have all the lego mumbo jumbo and there we go so let's get right down and uh let's start cutting the remaining tapes and uh yeah i'll just be really careful about this extremely careful about this and i think that's it is that it did we get it oh we got it. We got it. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And of course, uh, let us. Oh, there we go. And of course, we got our nice pocket size magazine. So let's take a good look at that first. Now we put our box cutter away. So we'll take a quick look at the magazine. And then, of course, ah, we have the Nebula class USS Monsoon right on the front. Nice front and center. I love the de look at the depth. You can see all the colors and the nice 3D running. USS Monsoon. It is a Nebula class. This is a special issue XL model. Uh, class Nebula. 641 meters about uh just uh, around the same length as the enter as the galaxy class 2263 launched and a crew of 1012 so roughly the same as the uh enterprise in terms of crew and uh, uh again you know i, I want to start off with uh the nebula class definitely one of the models that i believe deserved an xl so i'm happy to have it nebula class it is a nebula class it is was seen in the making of the wounded here's its stand instructions they look relatively similar to uh the uh standard model Model. And of course, we have a nice frontal orthographic view of the Nebula class. It was first appeared in the Best of Both Worlds. Uh, it had a full debut in The Wounded. It was seen in Endgame. It was part of the fleet that uh, encountered the Borg uh, sphere. And then, of course, it was designed by Ed Marecki and Rick Sternbach. And then, of course, we have some nice upper shots. We have the bottom of the deflector with the phaser strip. We have the nacelle and we have the bridge area. So there we go for that. And then, oh, what a nice, breathtaking view of this ship. USS Monsoon Nebula class, smaller than the Galaxy class, not by much, by like a meter. Uh, the Nebula class shared a similar design ethic to the larger ship. Yes, it did. I believe, actually, 
I actually, uh, to be fair, um, and I'm not sure if we brought it up before, but it's got the Galaxy Saucer. Take the Enterprise uh, secondary hull, cut the neck off, bring it up top, flip the nacelles upside down, and attach them. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And uh, that, that that's a kit bosh, folks. And uh, Nebula Class, of course, another nice view. And then, of course, we have the uh, Damaged Fleet in the best of both words. I believe that is the USS Melbourne. We'll take a look at it later. And there we have the model of the Melbourne, which we already looked at one of our reviews, except this is the bigger one. Uh, really hard to find model, especially now more than ever. Uh, there were three variants of this ship, as we know. And then, of course, we have the USS Phoenix, which was in the Wounded. Uh, yet another variant of the ship with the Enterprise. The only time we see this ship, I do believe... And then we have the uh, USS uh, Bonchoon, which is, or I believe, what is the Bonchoon? Uh, no, this is going to be the Farragut, uh, the one that picks up the Enterprise D uh, after it crash landed. And there we go. That's some nice product shots or some nice screenshots there. Oops, oops, getting ahead of ourselves, getting ahead of ourselves. And then we have them working with the models, all the behind the scene shots, the last scene from Generations. Uh, there we have the scene from Message in a Bottle, one of my favorite episodes of Voyager. Uh, a few um, on screens with the wounded and we're just moving right along trying to get through there and there we go we got some nice uh shots close-ups of cardassians and stuff and then of course we have cardassian ships and whatnot uh this all from the episode of the wounded where uh the captain goes off in the Phoenix and attacks the Cardassian border. And then, of course, we have a nice upper orthographic view of the Bonchoon. So there we have it for the magazine. All right, are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. So uh, let's take off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, uh, I'm kind of curious. I can I can see the model. I'm kind of curious because uh, the standard models, it was hit or miss with regards to whether the uh, nacelle or the little neck that connects the weapon pod was misaligned. So we'll see in just a bit. But, of course, we have our stand here and I just got to rip off the plastic. I love these I love these uh unboxings. This is the Nebula class 1787A slash A. So no no dice. I'm missing a uh, uh I'm missing an O and a one. And then we have our stand and let's see we got our uh stand piece right here. Let's connect the dots and wow wow that that's actually pretty stable. That is pretty stable. I'm uh, I got a good feeling now. I got a good feeling. I got a feeling. Oh, oh, uh, let's nice and easy. Let's move the box out of the way. Wow, man, this thing feels so much heavier as an XL. And uh, first thing, let's let's check it first. And no, um, so so uh, again, uh, all the XLs, a lot of the XLs seem to fix the issues of the standard models. And I'm noticing. I mean, did that look straight on to you? That looks straight on to me. So uh, already the weapon pod, uh, Miss Lyman. Let's uh, first get it in its stand. And again, you're just gonna kind of connect it over. It's gonna go over the uh, little pi uh, pylon area and. Uh, it's going to go around the back of the saucer section. And there we go. There we have. Let's get the uh, other stand out so we can kind of get a good look at it on its stand. And uh, she looks like she is going to be flying off into outer space. And let's take a good look at the bond shoot. Wow. This thing's got some weight. The, the, there must be a large amount of die cast in the saucer. It's about as heavy as the Galaxy Class XL. And this thing is just gorgeous like uh, xl galaxy class gorgeous got the nice front and center nice alignment on the numbers ncc 70915 uss bonchoon um no real window pocket so of course there can be no window misalignments um a nice as teching all over the top very similar lots very similar to the galaxy that's as expected um uh, you got the escape pods extruded over nicely they got the little red be oh, that is so cool how they do that oh wow talk about you must leave them with a banger. This is one of the last XLs they produced, so what a banger of a model. I uh, got the bridge extrusion on the back and whatnot. And of course, you have the uh, shuttle bay back here. That's man, you better be good at flying a shuttle. You can fly it right into a pylon. Um, 
and oh wow look at this i i love how we get a more you can see how the piling kind of just like accentuates up it's not like a direct just piece it it, it, it folds in on itself it's 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 very cool uh it's, it's lofted upwards let's say oh wow look at this so you got some nice vent this 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 thing really benefited from the xl treatment you got some nice venting detail up here venting, venting detail over here you got like kind of silver and uh, then you got some golds over here here it says United Federation of Plants. Very clear. Look at these conduit pieces back here. It's all extruded. It looks really, really good. Got this piece right back here. Again, just wow. And uh, you got like a little, it's got that little sandwich piece. Got a little retro thruster detailing right here. Same thing for the other side. Looking very, very good good uh ncc 701915 wow uss bonjour wow that is good attention to detail again this is one of those models that benefited from the xl treatment um not seeing the impulse engines but uh they would be about uh, i'm guessing let's see Thought they'd be about right there, but e either way, I I'm not bothered by it. Uh, going to the back, you got, again, some nice detailing back here. Oh, wow, did this bed, have, they, they really went all out on this baby. Uh, let's see. Uh, from the side, I can't tell any nacelle misalignments. Uh, looks really good. From the front, yeah, this thing's banger. This is a banger of a model. Um... I'm not sure if you can see this. Uh, look at that deflector detailing. It looks like you got some nice, it looks like transparent plastic, but it's actually a really nice uh, baby blue. Let's see if we can't get the light. And no, it's not going to. It's not going to do it. Not going to do it. Um, but it it's really looks good. Uh, nice transparent plastic on the nacelles around the Bassard collections. And you can just see it all over here through the warp pylons with that nice blue. Uh, United Federation plans. NCC 701915 looks good. Got the Starfleet pennant looking very good. Got pennants along the bottom. Uh, pennant, again, you got the nice detailing right around here. Uh, phaser strip as well. Nice Aztec details. Love the gold strips around or like the yellowish strips and then again you got more extruded escape pod detail on the bottom nice phaser ship id and registry number all looking good um and yeah look at that god this thing looks gorgeous just gorgeous um yeah no uh very impressed very impressed uh the uh, i yeah I'll, I'll save my comments for the summary but i am extremely impressed with this model and uh that is going to be completed uh that will complete our look at the model let's move on to some comparisons. so for a few quick comparisons and i'm only going to take it off the stand for one um so i think the biggest comparison that everybody wants to see is going to be the uh standard size nebula because we will do a review on the hanshu but you can just see i mean hanshu very light as teching it's just it, it, it's night and day it's flat out night and day they they kicked they they, they knocked this out of the park um another thing to uh, kind of show you from the back is uh look at just void of detail on the little fin in back um from the size the side not so noticeable um again looks pretty okay and you can see the nebula fits right inside the saucer it's great um it, from the side it looks pretty okay uh the, it looks like they did okay but overall uh just generally knocked it right out of the park and i'm gonna put this back in its stand for our next couple of comparisons so first off uh let's uh let's get all the kids in there so we're gonna get the uh Hold on, it fell out of it. Stand, it oh, it stand disassembled itself. This comparison may take longer, the longest comparison ever. Uh, so let's get the uh, standard nebula in there. Let's get the rest of the kids in there. Let's get the Melbourne in there. Let's get the Phoenix in there. <laughs> and man, does that look masterful. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's get a nice stand for our Bonchoon in there. So we can have that going on, and that just looks gorgeous. You could just see it, it's 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 beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, lastly, but not least, let's get our nebulas off the screen real quick here. Let's do one final comparison. We're just gonna be brief with this one, as brief as possible. I'm trying to be careful 
with these models as they are becoming a rarity now let's get the galaxy class enterprise d in there with the honcho and yeah just testament to how well this stand is built um there we go with the galaxy class uh you can see how that works out so <laughs> yeah sorry it took so long but there we have it for some quick comparisons so let's summarize and there we have it for the eagle moss official starships collection nebula class xl uss bonshoon and yeah flat out straight away uh this model is hands down one of the best xl models we've ever gotten the whole mission of the xl in my mind is to get a bit slightly bigger model of some of the more important ships or important classes of ships that includes a bit more detail that's what you're paying for you're paying for the extra detail you're paying for the extra size so you could better see that detail so as such when they give you that extra size they should be giving you that extra detail you get that with this model. Uh, the coloration versus the standard model, the extra details, the nice extrusions. I mean, this thing is just flat out gorgeous. Uh, definitely 100% straight away uh, worth the asking price on Master Rep uh, on Master Replicas. Uh, it, this is an absolute, this is a candidate for one of the best XL models ever made by Eagle Moss. And I am so glad that Eagle Moss left us with this one final gem. Uh, so hands down, I do fully recommend this model if you have a chance to pick it up. Well, whether you're a fan of the next generation, this class of ship in general, or just like all the XL models, this is one for the books. Hands down down fully 100% recommended and it should be available at master replicas but get them while they're hot they sold out the first time i have no doubt in my mind that they will continue to sell out and that being said uh that is going to conclude this review so if you found this review fun exciting and informative hit that like button down below also consider subscribing to my channel i do do eagle moss anywhere from one to three times a week and i do am starting to get new products in uh, just like this one so stick around for that and you'll definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss it and that being said that is going to conclude this review. Thank you so much for watching. Live long and prosper.